there. I'm Riley Wilkinson, toy and game creator and creator of the Sneaky Snacky Squirrel game. Today I'm going to read you Home by Carson Ellis. We're going to talk about the illustrations and I'm going to point out some observations and I'd like you to think about what you see in the book too. This barcode is from my library. I always like to get books from my library and then if I love them, I'll buy the book. So I'm probably going to buy this one very soon. Home by Carson Ellis. Home is a house in the country. Look where we are, we're in the country. We've got some horses, look at that bird. There's a chimney and some smoke. Look at all this sky. Or home is an apartment. Where do you think this is? This looks like a big city. We've got all sorts of different windows. There's a girl in this window looking at a bird. Hey, didn't we see that bird on the page before? I think we did. Oh look, it's flying in the sky. Bird made a second appearance. We've got a cat in, a, in an apartment. We've got house plants. Look, there's another cat. This one is doing what I call stretchers. My dogs and my cat love to do stretchers. So that's what's happening right there. Some homes are boats. Some homes are wigwams. Look at this wigwam. There's that bird again. This boat, wow. Look at the uh, monkey walking on the line. And look, someone's drying their clothes. Look, there are two kids way up high. Look at the ocean waves. They go behind this island, and then they're in front of the island. Some are palaces or underground layers. Look at this, we're underground. There's a ladder, then there's a little pathway that goes up and a tunnel that goes off. I wonder where that tunnel goes. What a mystery. This palace, I see a couple of peacocks. Look at this guy with the sword. He looks ferocious. Oh well, look, someone's taking a, a little nap on the uh, gems, on the gold. Or shoes. There's a shoe as a house. That lady looks frazzled. All these kids. Lots of kids. Look, acrobats walking on the, the rope. There's that bird again. French people live in French homes. Atlanteans make their homes underwater. Atlanteans? I've never heard of those before. I'll say it again. Look who's there. Looks like some dandelion leaves or seeds are flying. And some folks live on the road. This long bus Looks like it just got back from a trip or is about to leave on a trip with, what do you think those are? You think those are instruments maybe, or clothing? I bet you those are instruments. That looks like a guitar. Look at these kids, hi, they're waving hi. How are you? We're leaving. Maybe it's a concert going on. Clean homes. Messy homes, tall homes, short homes. Which one do you think is yours? Clean, messy, short, tall? I sort of like the messy one. It feels the most interesting to me. We have a blanket on sofa. We've got some scraps. Look at this little boot. There's a plant growing out of that boot. Hey, look. A bird make a, made a nest on top of the chimney. Sea homes, bee homes, hollow tree homes. That beehive, look at all those bees. 
I wonder how many bees live in a beehive home. I love honey, so I probably need to get some beehives out in my backyard. Look at that big fish in the sea home. But whose home is this? And what about this? Wow, that little house is on top of a mountain. Bird, 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 bird. Four birds. And where is this? I see upside down teacups. I see butterflies. This looks like it's from someone's imagination. Who in the world lives here and why? Goodness, this looks like it's in outer space. It's the moon. I bet you that's Saturn. Oh, look, there's a garden underneath a dome and a staircase. This is the home of a Slovakian duchess. This is the home of a Kenyan blacksmith. Look at how different their homes are. They live in such different parts of the world. This is the home of a Japanese businessman. This is the home of a Norse god. This man looks very tidy. He has two little bows on his shoes. There's a plant growing in one little pot. Looks like he lives in a, like a gem, like a gemstone. And this one, it's like a castle. Look, there's a bird on the, on the Norse god's shoulder. A babushka lives here. A Moonian lives here. Looks like someone is cooking a meal. A raccoon lives here. An artist lives here. Hmm. I wonder who that is. Do you see some items in this illustration from the book? What do you spy? I see underwater. I see that flag. This is my home, and this is me. Where is your home? Where are you? That is the artist. That is Carson Ellis. So that means that this is what her art studio looks like. And this is her house. She looks very friendly. And look. There's our friend, the bird. So where is your home? Where are you? There are all sorts of homes for people and animals. Some homes are imaginary. Some homes are very tidy. Some homes are regal. This home is from a fantasy, I think. So this book was home. I feel so cozy having read this. And since I'm home, I'm going to feed the dogs and maybe vacuum. But for right now, I'm going to hug this book because I love it so much and it's so beautiful. Thank you so much for reading Home with me, Home by Carson Ellis. Bye.